Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop, as you probably know by now, and I want to show you a new piece of kit I've got here, the top one. Uh, as you know, my videos are normally about, well, always about vintage valve radios, restoration, repair, uh, that sort of thing. But um, just wanted to show you this. It's a Hewlett Packard 334A distortion analyzer. Wow, you say that sounds good. Yeah, it is good actually. That's this top piece of equipment here. I use these two together. Um, basically, it sort of measures uh, audio distortion. So, yeah, it can be used with a 1940s valve radio. Why not? Um, you know, on the audio amplifier. Um, so, what happens is you put what you want first of all is a, a, is a nice audio sine wave to put into your amplifier under test. I mean normally this would be used to test either valve or transistor amps, uh, hi-fi type amps, you know, for the uh, for the audio files among you. Um, so you put a decent sine wave into the amplifier, okay, preferably distortion free, you know, if you're putting distortion into the amp you know, <laughs> before you even start, whatever next, good grief. So you put a clean signal into the amp, the output of the amp, obviously, is across the loudspeaker. You take it from there. Um, you're gonna, if you've got, a, say, a one kilohertz tone, you're going to be kind of piercing your ears when you turn the amp up. So replace the speaker with a dummy load, a resistor, obviously one that can take the wattage of the amp and one of the correct value to match the speaker. So, OK, pure sine wave as best you can get. That's why I use this a couple of oscillators here. I'll show you that in a minute. Pure sine wave, say 1kc for example, oops, kilohertz, showing my age, into your audio amp, the output of the amp into here. Okay, this reads RMS volts, so you can uh, you can check your voltage, you can work out all sorts of things, but basically what you do, you put these controls to set, and you set it so uh, the meter it reads full scale. All right? So you've got your output of the amp coming into here. This reads full scale on the output of the amp. This here is a notch filter, this part. So if you're on, on one kilohertz, for example, you set this to one kilohertz, you've got the range, fine tuning there. You set this to one kilohertz. And what you'll find is the meter, it, it'll null, it'll go down. A bit like SWR, you know, when you're tuning up. Well, you've nothing to do with amateur radio, but bit like SWR, you know, when you're tuning up your ATU for minimum SWR, you tune the notch filter, but basically what it's doing, it's tuning out that one kilohertz tone. You're nulling it. All right, so you do that to the meter read zero, use the fine controls as well. So that reads zero. Uh, you then, all you do then is switch to here, uh, percentage of distortion. All right, so that's uh, three percent here. That's three percent. You've got the scale marked. You've got ten percent, um, point three percent, point one percent. You can read the percentage of uh, what they call T total harmonic distortion (THD). Um, yeah, which is quite quite interesting. Yeah, this nice piece of actually that. Just going back to that, I only got this a little while ago. I got it. You're going to love this. I call the <laughs> like all the stuff I get. I got it for nothing. Someone gave it to me. Now this was given to me as well. This is uh, made by Marconi. It's a TF2005R. Um, basically you've got audio oscillator. Where are we? 20 hertz to 20 kcs. Identical one here. This is, as it says, an AF monitor and attenuator. You've got a meter here. You can read your volts output from each one. There's various connections on the back you can utilize as well. Um, what, what this is for is, for example, on an audio amplifier, I won't go into this too much, but you put two separate tones into your amplifier out of here. You could, this will mix the two together from each oscillator. So you put two lovely pure sine waves into your audio amp, and on your oscilloscope, on the output of the amp, you should have two separate um, sine waves, you know, two separate frequencies. If you haven't, if you've got a load of mixed up and harmonics and stuff everywhere, then uh, to use a technical term, there is stuff going on in the amplifier. Basically, that's what that's for. I use this in conjunction with this because um, 
the sine wave out of here is pretty good. Yeah, this is sort of minimum distortion coming out of here. Um, yeah, so that, that's it. It's all a bit of a palaver to set it up. But um, and as I said, it's not really for use with vintage valve radios. But uh, what I will do, the next radio I get on the bench, I'm going to set this right up in here. That's what. That's where that's going. Um, I shall have a, a look. Uh, yeah, perhaps one of the old Bush DAC 90s or 90As. I'll uh, see what the percentage uh, total harmonic distortion is on the audio amplifier, just out of interest. But you know, th this you can use as a, an uh, audio oscillator, AF oscillator. Um, and this you can just use as an R RMS voltmeter here if you want. Um, this also has. Um, there's here there's a switch normal or RF debt that's RF you can put in on the back you can actually put modulated RF in it so um, I mean I've never used that but I will try it at some stage and um, what it will do it will tell you again it only tells you the the audio distortion on that RF signal so uh, I don't know what you'd use that for if you're building a transmitter or something then you can take a a sample of the RF from the transmitter, you know, put it into a dummy load, etc. Stick the RF in the back of this and uh, have a look at the audio distortion if you're putting obviously a clean sine wave into the transmitter to modulate it. There we are, I'm rambling now. So, two nice bits of gear that I got for nothing, as always. I, I think what it is, I, I've been in business. Um, in Worthing on the south coast of Sussex where I'm, I am. I've been in business uh, for so many decades that you know, everyone gets to know me. I'm also a radio amateur so you get uh, local amateurs, local CBers, e everyone. Um, they, they kind of donate stuff which is rather nice. Um, yeah, I don't sell any of it and make, make profit out of it. I use it unless it's junk then I'll use it for bits. But. Um, Right, I've now installed the two pieces of test equipment here. Got it hooked up, so it's actually actually working. Leave that running for a while, so it settles down. Um, basically, when I, I said uh, what you do, you put your signal in, adjust the meter for full scale. Okay, you then you, that, you switch it to set to do that. You then come off set to distortion. You null out what this notch filter does. It, it just nulls out that frequency. If you're putting in one kilohertz, okay, that one kilohertz tone, that sine wave, the notch filter notches that out, takes it away. So you you, t you tune your notch filter so it, uh, it reads zero on the meter or as near to zero as you can get it. What that does, it takes out that one kilohertz sine wave, that frequency, but it leaves whatever else is coming out of your audio amplifier, the one under test. So you might have harmonics, you know, harmonic distortion, whatever. It leaves all that there going into the analyzer. It doesn't notch that out, obviously. It only notches out your original frequency, your tone, your sine wave. Then basically all the distortion meter does, it reads whatever's left coming out of the amp. Uh, I mean, obviously, ideally, you put one kilohertz tone into an audio amp. All you want coming out is that pure one kilohertz tone. You don't want harmonics, you don't want other, as I said earlier, other stuff coming out. So that's all it is. It takes away that tone, it sees what's left and it tells you on the meter. Simple as that. There we are. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. Didn't go too technical into it all because, um, you know, as I say, my videos are all to do with vintage valve radios, repairing and restoring them. So don't want to get too heavily into test equipment that really isn't relevant to the radios. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.